Hello, welcome back to my next quick tip coffee tutorial. Today I want to show you how to add some gaps, stone gaps, to one of our buildings. That's an existing old building. So I'll show you that's what we got here. So there's quite a simple way. We just that's 2D obviously, uh, take wall and 10 high, 10 mil thick. Make sure you get the right um, material. And I put it on cutting elements, which is turned off at the moment. So as soon as I draw one, you will ask me and I'll show this layer. There you go. So you just really start drawing along here. And as you can see, I already drew all those lines. I mean, it's, it's, it's very simple. You just draw along the lines. And then when you're finished, you um, select this and you copy and then we do profile i've got obviously done profile already let's go here it's front and okay, profile so i've got one done here but i'll show you what happened I, I just drew some walls so if i paste this in here now just put on the side even so i had walls i converted this straight to fills there you go, that's fills and lines, obviously. Okay, so obviously for this exercise, I don't need this because I've done this before, so delete. So you put this there, make sure you select all the fills and you tell them to override surfaces. I put in here, obviously, uh, a stone gap material. And then we just store this profile. We do the same for the side, I can show you here. There you go, it's done the same for the side one. Okay, let's just get out of here. Okay, now what we do is, by the way, I did save them just as walls. You can use other ones, but, but wall is fine for me. Okay, so let's go to my wall tool and I wanna change this to profile and we a gaps front. Make sure you use stone gap and I've got one cutting elements, which is good. So let's draw the first one here. I just use like 10 mil. And then let's go into the north view. There you go. So obviously it's a bit too high. And all you do is you grab this down. There you go, that fits perfectly. And then we do the next one on the side. What I usually do is because I got the height right now, so I use Alt click and it will take that wall I just used. Now I can just go to the side and draw the next one. Okay, we do the next one here. We go here, X 10 minus. Okay, that, um, that's very unusual, but you know what? Let's just cut this off. Very awesome, very awesome. Let's have a look at 3D here. Yep, yeah, that looks good. So, now the next one is, we obviously have to drag this in. I drag it in by five and I take this one and drag this in by five back to our 3d there you go beautiful so close that's the obviously they're sticking out at the moment and going by five mil so now all we have to do is use element operation the solid element operation so we take target elements this ball and this ball and we take operator element subtraction execute there you go and now we can go export because that's when I show you my cutting element is turned off there you go very clearly cut in beautiful so that didn't take long at all and it looks actually pretty good. 
Okay, let's do a quick, quick render to see how it looks. Right, that looks really good. And let's do a quick close up. As you can see, the shadow gaps are extremely nice. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial, and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.